everyone, welcome to the Urban Sewing Society where we bring fashion and creativity to your neighborhood. My name is Jen and I am the Urban Sewist. And today we are working on a refashioning project using two pairs of denim jeans to make a denim jacket. And I'm really excited about this project. But first, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so that you can get an update every time I drop a new video. Today of course is Transformation Tuesday so that's the day that we do a refashioning project and then we do other sewing projects during the week. Also don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Urban Sewing Society. Let's get started. Pull that old jean jacket out that you really like the way it fits because we're gonna be using this to create our pattern. That's what's gonna be so exciting is because once you create this pattern, you can use it for all different kinds of projects. First thing you wanna do is lay the jacket out on the table, nice and flat. Take your tracing paper or tracing fabric or um, tissue paper put a few weights on it so that it doesn't move around and I'm going to mark an X here at the bottom corner of the jacket another one at the other bottom corner an X here right under the arm on my shoulder both shoulders both underarms and then around the collar right where the collar attaches at the neck flip it over I lay the one half of the jacket out nice and flat. Again, mark my corner, mark my corner, mark my underarm, mark the shoulder, mark where the collar meets, mark the front collar. Here you'll see me drawing straight lines in between the dots and then cutting the tracing paper or pattern paper out and doing the same thing on the sleeve. Okay, so this is the way the front of the jacket is going to look. I'm gonna add just about a half an inch because I want to make sure that I'm accounting for the seam allowance in the shoulder. Use my chalk right on my shoulder. Now, if you don't have a dress form, that's okay. You can put this on your body and you can do it. Then the next step is to cut the jeans right where I made the chalk line. This is the top of the shoulder. And now I use my seam ripper and I begin to remove the inseam of the jeans all the way from the front to the back. It's important to go all the way through the back because that is where you're going to have a rear seam. So you wanna make sure you take those stitches out there. Now I will place the pattern pieces on top to make sure my cut is correct, and it is. I'm also using the bottom of the jacket that I use for the pattern to make sure that that waistband is correct for the bottom of the jacket and it fits perfectly. So now I'm drawing a few extra chalk lines that I'm going to cut around. Another thing that you want to do to make sure both pieces are symmetrical is to lay them on top of each other and check. You'll also cut them together to make sure that that front is rounded correctly and fits nice on the shoulder. Here I will take the rest of the inseam out with my seam ripper. Again, it's really important to remove the stitches with your seam ripper as opposed to cutting them because there is almost a half an inch of fabric on the inside of those seams and you may need that when you're making your adjustments to fit the jacket. As you see now, I'm putting the pattern pieces on top of the jeans, and as I lay them out, I find out that they're a near perfect fit, but I still cut that side seam, and I didn't need to, so next time, I'll be sure not to do that. Next step, I'm gonna put it on the dress form just to take a look. I really like the way it's turning out. 
Keep in mind as you are creating the back panels of your jacket that you are using the back side of a pair of jeans. The back side of a pair of jeans is curved to accommodate your hips. And therefore, you want to make sure that you remove that curve when you're creating the back. So be sure to use a ruler or a yardstick to make sure that it's straight. I took two little tucks above the pockets just to make sure that my back portion laid flat. In addition to that, I used a top stitch down the center and pressed it. The next step is to take the contrasting pair of jeans and use my seam ripper to rip the end seam. Lay that pants leg out and then trace the sleeve. I did that on both legs to make sure they were even. I laid one on top of the other. The next step I needed to go to the sewing machine. I needed to sew the pockets down, sew my side seams, so the back middle seam. The next step is to sew the shoulder seam. Make sure to back stitch on both ends and then create a basting stitch across the top of the sleeve. I made my sleeve a little bit bigger because I wanted to have some puffiness in the sleeve. I created about three or four pleats on each side to give more fullness to the top of the sleeve. You don't have to do this if you don't like a larger sleeve. This was just a style preference that I happen to like. I played around with the sleeve until I got it just right. Then I laid out the front of my jacket and I looked at it and I thought I would like to have a contrasting facing on the inside of the jacket. So I used some leftover fabric from the jeans and I played around with the front of the jacket and the pieces that I had left over to see what would look nice. And in the end, I was able to create a bit of a collar and it just came together very, very nicely. I did a little bit of an edge stitch along the front, created the collar, laid that out, sewed around the curve, connected everything, inserted the sleeve, sewed down the facing on the inside. I used some pins here and there just to make sure that I got it right. It really started to come together nicely. Now for the finishing touches. Where the zipper flap is, I turned that under and stitched it. I also added a buttonhole and a button. And then for the sleeves, I took a remnant from another pair of jeans and made a tie around the wrist to give the sleeves some shape. I hope you all enjoyed this project and will try it at home. Please put comments below and give me a thumbs up and enjoy the fashion show. See you next time.